All right, we're dropping off for our first day of work. Now we're dropping off Corey at local salon. She's getting uh, her eyebrows waxed before we go to a cave. <laughs> yeah, it's before Thanksgiving. So we're this is the week before Thanksgiving. And um, we're at Ruby, Ruby Falls, Chattanooga. We're whining and dining, going to a bunch of good restaurants here. She's never been to Chattanooga. So we're an incredibly cute downtown area. Um, near Warehouse Row, which is a shopping area um, here in Chattanooga. But I'm using this excuse to walk Miko. We specifically stayed at the Moxie by the Marriott. There's a lot of dog friendly places and Chattanooga has a really cool hotel culture, I guess here. A lot of unique, modern, help yourself glorified hostel vibes, <laughs> meaning a hostel accommodation place where you stay. So anyways, I kind of picked the wrong area to talk outside by the road, roadways. She's getting that done. I'm walking Miko. Uh, we were going to stay at the KOA here at Lookout Mountain in Chattanooga. And the cold front that was coming in was talking about it being like well below freezing, like 19 degrees. And so we had changed our plans. We didn't want to deal with the tanks freezing and we're actually going to be getting rid of our rv and selling it soon so we went ahead and got a hotel room i'm almost regretting it though because the cold front ended and it didn't come down here so we're looking at normal temperatures we could have rv'd for a lot less but you know it is an experience we do already have a a pros and cons list building in our head about what's available um but anyways come on We're at the Chattanooga, Chattanooga Choo Choo. Chattanooga Choo Choo. Um, don't know much about the space besides it's right on the corner from the hotel, but it's the old railroad center. It's pretty closed down, it looks like today. I don't know if it's dog friendly or not. Let's see. so many good restaurants in there's so many good restaurants here in Chattanooga that's one over there the frothy monkey but yeah this is the old railroad Nick and Norman's everybody So Nick and Norman's, we found out, we just randomly walked in here, trying to do a choo-choo. And this is, uh, what was his name again, the actor? Uh, Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus. Uh, from The Walking Dead. From The Walking Dead. This is one of his restaurant locations in Chattanooga, so pretty neat. Alrighty, that was a su success. <laughs> that was a successful lunch. Yes, uh, they have really delicious uh, burgers. Yeah. It's got like, it's mixed meat, like brisket. Ethan. Yeah, they have lamb burger too, and avocado, uh, turkey burger. But I had the salmon, mixed vegetables. The asparagus was good. But walking distance from where we're staying, we're now headed to Ruby Falls, so she can see the waterfall. Yeah, I'm excited. I grew up going to Ruby Falls. It's a sight to see if you've never seen it, and that's why we're here. But see all the falls.
All right, so this is the glorious gift shop at Ruby Falls. Come buy all your gizmos and gadgets, everyone. Get the t-shirts. We're here for the waterfall. Take care. Hi, <laughs> Luego. All right, so we'll go down 260 feet in about 30 seconds. If you guys are good at math, that's a whole seven miles an hour. Keep your hands and feet inside the elevator. As I said earlier, keep your six feet distance. Welcome to Ruby Falls. The miracle of nature you're about to explore was discovered by a stroke of luck when one man there. followed Can you see out of here? Your adventure begins as we descend 260 feet into an underground cavern deep inside Lookout Mountain. For your safety, as you exit the elevator, please stay with your group. Watch your step and... All right. I'm in the way go. You go around that corner. It ended in October. Yeah, it was Halloween. You know, the whole month of Halloween. Oh, wow. Riley, step body. Chuck. We're underground. When do you want me to start recording? Thanks for coming out. I keep hitting my head in here. This was all flat. This was the spot. Yowzers. We ask that you do not touch any formation in the cave. It is against state law to ride on, to face, or break cave formations. For your safety, please stay with your guide. You see what it's like if you're six feet in a cave? Mm -hmm. Your neck's bent this way, like this the whole time. Sometimes. Now we're getting into it all. Dodge your head. Stalactites and stalagmites. The stalagmites and stalactites. Right. And the tights are from the ceiling and the mites are from the ground. So they said if the water drops on you, it's called a cave kiss. Ooh, a little bit of spice here. Thank God. Oh, that right there. That's a turtle. Turtle, turtle. All right, we're getting into the, the cool parts here. Pretty gnarly. That's dropping water. All right, now we're getting to the angel's wing. Evidently. Oh, that's cute.
tired tonight or falls. Tired? That's what it says. Oh. It's debatable, in my opinion. I mean, it was, it was worth it in the sense I've never seen an underground. underground. So, what we thought about Rock City? Um, Ruby Falls. Ruby Falls. <laughs> Actually, we didn't go to Rock City, yeah. but it's her first time. She wanted to see it. I went um, multiple times growing up in Georgia as a child and everything. But I neat. loved it. Yeah. I thought it was really cool. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of people. I mean, they, they break you up into groups and stuff, but there's times where you have to, you know, stand, stand like this against the walls. I mean, y'all saw how tight it was. Are, yeah. 20 years ago, they did not do it like that from my memory. It was very much go down there, less people, but it was neat. I mean, I did learn, you know, the waterfall is 90 feet tall. They get 250 gallons a minute of water. They don't know necessarily where the water comes from. They've tried yeah. to test it with dye and everything. I mean, it's groundwater, but they can't find the original the original source. source he says that it's always flowing sometimes yeah. more so than others depending on how much rain yeah they've gotten but um and then you're never like, it never ends yeah so and you're there's like there's a water source somewhere they just don't know where it is right and then also it's like 1200 like 1280 feet or something it's the it's tall as the empire building worth a rock that's above your head when you're down there mm -hmm. um which pretty, is interesting but pretty far down there Thirty dollars, you get a little pitcher packet. We ended up getting. Um, we never buy stuff like that, but um, we didn't get like a. I, in my opinion, we didn't get a good photo when we were next to the water fountains. We're gonna go check out Sunset Rock. This might be the end of the video. I don't know. If it is, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Comment. Helps out the algorithms. Do all those YouTube. Things. All those YouTube things. <laughs> you know, we're not sticklers on protocol of building a YouTube business. But at the same time, we enjoy meeting new people and, and sharing the joy on the road. Yeah, we're the rest of the trip here. We have a couple days. I think it's just hiking. Um, we'll probably do a bebop video following this video of us going around town, eating and hiking over the bridge with Miko. One of the largest, yeah, that would be fun to do. Yeah. Hike over that walking so. bridge. It's the longest walking bridge. Yeah, I think east of the Mississippi. I think it's all east of the Mississippi. But there is the Manhattan. It's longer than the Manhattan Bridge. Because you can walk Maybe across that Maybe we have to read too. that again. Anyhow, <laughs> y'all take it easy. Road. Join the road. See ya. All right, we're at Sunset Rock. It's not sunset, but it's still a great view. Take this hike on. See what this rock's all about sunset rock so wanted to do a sunset here but um long story short i booked all our dinner reservations <laughs> right about sunset time so 
It's all about sunrises or midday hikes, but. You're not a morning person? I'm morning person. She's not a morning person. <laughs> I think they know we're not morning people. <laughs> Even though we've gotten up and done sunrises hikes all over the United States. No idea why. Oh, that's so nerve-wracking. Oh, that's so creepy. 